Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we compare number patterns. Here's our question. Kurt wrote a number pattern. He used the rule to get from each number to the next, add four. Then the first number in his pattern is one. Christy wrote a different number pattern. She used the rule to get from each number to the next, add two. The first number in her pattern is one. Which of the following statements is true about both Kurt's and Christie's number patterns? I'm gonna ask you to pause and solve this problem now and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So first we're going to review that we have number patterns and we wanna know which of these four statements is true about both Kurt and Christie. So we've been given a couple of bits of information about each of their different number patterns. So let's look at Kurt first. Kurt has a first number in his pattern that is one. So we're gonna start his number sequence or number pattern with the number one. Then his rule that he used to add to that was to get from each number to the next, you add four. So one plus four is five, five plus four is nine, I'm going to stop there. We could keep going. 9 plus 4 is 13. But let's see if we have enough information here. We can always add more after. Now let's look at Christie's pattern. So Christie's first number in her pattern is also 1. So we'll start her number pattern with 1. Now her rule that she used to get from each number to the next was add 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And let's stop hers with 3, 2. We could keep going. 5 plus 2 is 7. But we can do more of that if we need to in a minute. So let's look at our answer choices. Answer choice A says all the numbers are odd. Well, Kurt's numbers are 1, 5, and 9. None of those are evenly divisible by 2, so they're odd. And Christie's numbers are 1, 3, and 5. Again, none of those are odd. They, these are all odd So because they're not divisible by 2. So it looks like A is our right answer, but let's go ahead and look at the rest of our choices. So B is not true because we've just said that all of these values in our number sequence are odd. None of them are even. So they can't be all odd if, and then be some even. C, the number two is in both patterns. Well, the number two is not in either of the number patterns, so we're going to cross that one out. And D, the number three is in both patterns. Well, the number three is in Christie's, but it's not in Kurt's, so we can rule that out. So we are correct. All the numbers in both number patterns are odd and our answer choice is A. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and have a great day.